से महाहश दिदाशातमा वो वो तो मायान उन्हें बिसुलमान बन जाने में वो कुछ थी वो हश्ताश माला मामा Over the winter, a wave of coalition airstrikes destroyed ISIS fighting positions in the lowlands beneath Sinjar, clearing the way for a Peshmerga-led ground offensive to retake much of the region. We've been driving for hours along the Syrian border, along long stretch of territory that the Peshmerga recently recaptured from the Islamic State. And for the whole drive, for many, many kilometres, the whole road is interspersed with uh, dozens of burnt out vehicles like this, wrecked Islamic State fighting positions, buildings by the side of the road. Um, the airstrikes have had a significant effect on Islamic State strength here. Everywhere they've tried to make a stand, they've been destroyed. And then the Peshmerga have moved forward and taken more ground. In August 2014, Islamic State fighters reached the Sinjar region of northwestern Iraq, home to the Yazidi Kurdish minority. The Yazidi people fled their homes. Yazidi men were rounded up and executed, and thousands of women and children were taken as slaves. A Yazidi fighter from a militia aligned with the Peshmerga took us to his home village of Hardan, recently recaptured from the Islamic State. How long had he lived? Well, I'm very, very hungry. Half tea salads. Do curry ma fuden. O curry brai ma curry auji. O zara brai ma aile wan. Yan takriban siu hashtash mala ma. Ye menu brai menu khush ke menu. Yan im khesme ma. تو برمیل برمیل او برمیل مزین نبود. تو جیون مغزانه وان نبود تا چهت کردن. یعنی جی هبون تا چهت کردن جهاز آمدن و دو از آمدن انفجار به چهت کردن. او ایداش او حتا حتا ما را حالا ایداش تو دو گنت جیو. The Yazidi fighter we with took us here to see his house in the village of Hadan. He says uh, Islamic State fighters uh, packed his house with TNT and blew it up. Uh, he's adamant about that. They, I have to say, it looks more like a, an airstrike hit it. Maybe his house is used as an ISIS base. It was hit by uh, the coalition. There's Klashnikov magazines burnt out everywhere. Um, black, like ammunition webbing vests, bits of body armor, bits of broken M16 rifles uh, scattered everywhere. It looks very much like, a, like an Islamic State base that was hit. But either way, uh, it's this guy's house and it's been completely destroyed.
When they captured the region, Islamic State took thousands of women as sex slaves, boasting of their conquests on social media. When the Yazidi women and children were taken as slaves, the men were rounded up and executed en masse. The Peshmerga discovered this gravesite, one of many near Sinjar, in January. The people that did this, were they outsiders, were they foreigners, or were they locals to here? with the border with Islamic State less than a mile away, international forensics teams are unlikely to excavate the site for a long time yet. In the in the future, when when the war's over, um, would you find it difficult to live side by side with your neighbours again? No, no, abad abad. I used to have a one am kush tena chawa ma I used to sir. No, lam ne karam ba. An jar kade ibad kade madatini abad ne karam. The the people from the the village, uh, only one kilometre away. Um, where are they now? Za wakti pe kawata pe shmar gahat gali daish baaz da. The village is empty now, apart from uh, Yazidi Peshmerga fighters. The next village along uh, was a half Arab, half Yazidi village that's in turn now completely empty. Uh, the Arabs have fled along with the Islamic State to Islamic State controlled areas. And local Yazidi fighters have been accused of revenge attacks against Arab villagers who they believe supported the Islamic State and who they accuse of helping the Islamic State ethnically cleanse their own villages. 
Throughout Iraq, the Islamic State has actively made local Sunni populations in mixed areas complicit in their war crimes. When the Islamic State retreat here in Nineveh, many Sunni Arabs flee with them. On the front lines around Mosul, Arab villages lie abandoned, destroyed in unclear circumstances. In other areas, Sunni Arabs find themselves under Kurdish rule for the first time. These are Sunni Arab local villages and when ISIS was in control here, some of the local villagers, they supported ISIS, they joined ISIS, they fought against the Peshmerga and now the Peshmerga are back here in control. Um, what is the attitude of, of the villagers? Now you're ruled by the Peshmerga. How, how do you feel about that? The coming of the Islamic State has fractured the fragile ethnic harmony of northwestern Iraq. A mere five months of Islamic State rule has altered the map of this quiet rural region, perhaps forever. Allah <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> 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 